think what I was going to say to Kyle. I didn't have to think too hard. Because uh, me and Kyle live in the same place. We both live in Ringwood. See him occasionally around the town. See lots of people that know Kyle and talk to me about Kyle. But again, he's going to leave us and go on to Brock College. But I have this great thing every time I go to get my hair cut. And where do I get my hair cut? Mandy's. Well, it's not called Mandy's, that's a bit. <laughs> <laughs> Razor's Barber Shop. Sorry, Razor's Barber Shop just has to be a Mandy in there. It's not Mandy. You know. It doesn't take that much. You know, uh, so they constantly ask me, and how's he getting on? Because he talks to them a lot about washing machines. He's been a stalwart here. He was traumatised a couple of years ago when we shut our laundry down. But he got over that well. <laughs> He is doing fantastic work, and he's done fantastic work with France and college, writing stories and helping with their drama department. We do have lots of Kyle's stories over the years that we will treasure and refer to on occasion. Uh, he's done fantastic stuff in catering. When you see the photographs and his work experience down at the cafe in Wimborne has gone really well. You know, um, I just remember the time when me and Mrs. Kerr went to visit him in his previous school. Uh, in Ashley, <coughs> way back then, and I have the memory, as I'm sure she does, of seeing him in the class then, as what I would describe him as a wee boy, <laughs> and now I look at him here ready to leave us. Gone on to Brock College. <laughs> <laughs>